from the side of water towers and car bumpers to tattoos and sporting events. The word and number combination of John 3.16 can be seen in abundance. It is often said that, that it is the most well-known and most quoted scripture from the Bible. I don't believe this to be true for all of us. However, it is so well known to certain groups of Christians that the verse itself is not needed. Just the book, chapter, and verse number, John 3.16. The verse John 3.16 is a portion of a discourse between Jesus and Nicodemus, a leader and teacher of the Jews. Nicodemus comes to Jesus during the night, acknowledging the signs Jesus has performed and stating that he and others know Jesus is a teacher sent from God. Jesus proceeds to completely confuse Nicodemus by telling him that no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above, that no one can enter the kingdom of heaven without being born of water and the Spirit. Jesus continues by informing Nicodemus that he had not yet reached that new birth because he had not received the testimony of Jesus and that he did not believe what Jesus has said about earthly things. So he couldn't even begin to believe what Jesus is teaching about things heavenly. The scripture continues where today's gospel reading begins with Jesus saying, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Nicodemus knows that during the exodus from Egypt, God sent serpents to bite the Israelites that kept complaining about their situation and complaining against God. In order not to die from this consequence of their sin against God, those that were bitten by the serpents had to look upon a bronze serpent that God instructed Moses to lift high on a staff. The Israelites were dying and to live, they had to put their hope and belief in what God said to do. And like soldiers in a foxhole, their faith grew, and they believed God, and they were saved. For Nicodemus and others, they too needed to look upon Jesus and believe in order to receive salvation. I can see why John 3.16 is so popular among some Christian groups. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. Hold on to this one verse which has been plucked out of context and you're in. Just believe in Jesus and you will have eternal life. The verse used out of context leaves me as confused and full of questions as Nicodemus. All I have to do is believe in Jesus? What is it exactly that I have to believe about Jesus or believe in Jesus to earn such an eternal prize? Yes, I can certainly see why John 3.16 is so popular, standing alone by itself. The verse lets us define belief. And if left up to the individual, we are going to take the easiest path and simply say we are saved because we believe in Jesus. The problem with using a single verse out of context is that the Gospel of John didn't 
leave it up to us to define belief. We just need to read a little further and begin to grasp what Jesus is teaching us about earthly things in order for us to understand things heavenly. John's Gospel connects belief with actions of goodness and light, and it connects disbelief with deeds of evil and darkness. For those who say they believe in Jesus, yet their actions are done with the absence of Jesus, actions that are done in the dark, then they don't understand what it means to believe in Jesus. And for those who say they believe in Jesus and whose deeds are in line with God, those whose actions in the world reflect the teachings of Jesus, their belief has led them into the light of truth. I like that today's gospel reading shows up at the midpoint in our Lenten season. It's a good time for us to be reminded that our words are not enough. We need this reminder to reflect on how we are living into things earthly so that we might have time to expose where we are living in the darkness. We need a reminder that we can change and that it is not too late to turn and face the light of the sun. It is in this time of intentional reflection and turning away from the darkness that will allow us to believe in the resurrection and be reborn in the spirit. And it is in this new birth that it inspires us to live beyond Bible quotes about God and respond to the world with actions that are clearly seen as deeds that have been done in God. Amen.